<laughs> hey, how are y'all? Uh, we said we weren't going to do this, but since the left came to the microphone in the middle of the deposition, but I'm going to do the same thing this morning. The two things I'm going to say this morning so far in the first hour is that Hunter Biden is being defiant and also dishonest. And his testimony, some of it, is in direct conflict with other witnesses. And so the transcripts will be out. I won't go into detail. You'll be able to see it for yourself. But um, it's no surprise. It's no shock uh, that he is being that way. And in some cases, he doesn't recall. He said that multiple times this morning, which, again, is not a shocker either. But um, defiant and dishonest would be the way that I would describe his testimony so far in the first hour. No, he's not done that yet. But I would tell you that his testimony is in direct conflict with other witnesses that so far the Oversight Committee has interviewed. Which witnesses are they? Uh, you'll read the transcript. I'm not going to go into details because we agreed that we would not do that in the middle of the deposition. So once the, the transcript is out, I'm happy to talk about it in more detail. But that's what I'll say. Thank you, guys. Nancy Mace has voiced skepticism about Hunter Biden's testimony, labeling him as defiant and dishonest. This suggests doubts about the truthfulness of his statements during the hearing. This skepticism reflects a broader concern about the transparency and honesty of public figures especially those connected to influential politicians. Mace's focus on discrepancies in Biden's testimony hints at a perception that political biases may influence the language and procedures surrounding him. This contributes to existing narratives within the Democratic that emphasize biased perspectives and certain political investigations. The tension between Mace's critique and the possibility that Biden genuinely struggles to recall details suggests an effort by Biden to assert his own narrative under intense scrutiny. His decision to withhold details until the transcript's release could be interpreted as an attempt to ensure procedural fairness and anticipate transparency once the full record becomes available. 